Well, if you were looking for a unique experience near the Great Smoky Mountains, look no further than a new Sevierville campground. The site takes a twist on your typical camping spot, featuring a little more glam. We're seeing this a lot, but this is a unique twist. This is very different. So 10 News reporter Marissa Rios shares what glampers can expect at the Smoky Hollow Outdoor Resort. This isn't your ordinary stay up near the Smoky Mountains. A glamp ground. Yes, it's a glamp ground, not a campground. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word or not, but we've adopted it and this is uh, Sevierville's glamp ground. At the Smoky Hollow Outdoor Resort, part owner Rebecca Turner helped take camping to a whole new level. We're the only covered wagons in the county and um, the teepees just go with it, with the theme. You can choose to stay in one of the wagons suited for families of four. Take a step inside and you'll see many of the same amenities that a hotel has. They're all set up the same with a king bed and then two twins as a bunk. And um, they, we include all the linens, the towels, um, there's a coffee bar, tea bar. Just a drive down the hill and you'll come up on the Glamp Grounds teepees. But they're better suited for two people with a king bed. Three weeks ago, the family owned Glamp Ground opened to the public. Since then, it's been a hit filling up its reservations. And we're just finding out that this might be really a lot more fun and greater adventure than we thought it was going to be originally. So we're really excited. While it may be different from a regular camping experience, Turner says you can still expect to see the same wildlife. We have the goats that visit from our neighbor daily. Turner says she hopes that people can unplug and enjoy everything that East Tennessee has to offer. We want people to get out and just enjoy the fresh air and get back to being outdoors more. I feel like there's just too much technology in our lives these days and we need to unplug. In Sevierville, I'm Marissa Rios reporting. Looks pretty neat, I gotta say. It does, and Turner <laughs> says in the near future, the site will have more wagons, teepees, and even three houses for people to stay. And the resort expects the final touches to be done by next summer. And I like the glamping experience. Uh, that's more my style than straight up camping. Yeah, just going out and pitching a tent uh -huh. and doing that. This uh -huh. one's Ruffing already it. set I for you. I can do that, but I like the amenities. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and this is beautiful too. Yeah, it's and great. Something else I like that about that too is you're maybe a little more protected from the weather. Yeah. 